I am the last man that you ever have to meet in a hotel room. Ever. How much are we talking about? Tell me again how this works. When I got there, he knew everything about me. Family, money problems. He said he could fix all that. By getting you pregnant and suing the father for paternity. He said no one would get hurt. That a rich dude would be a little less rich. And the baby? He told me about these safe haven laws where you leave babies at fire stations and they get adopted. You never met Roger Ashby? No, the hookup was supposed to be tomorrow. Is that why Patrick told you it was going to be a hookup? He didn't exactly say. Why? Because Roger Ashby died yesterday in a ferry boat accident. Like I said, all I know is the hookup was going to be tomorrow, and after that, I was supposed to make a claim for child support. And once the settlement was finalized, Hatcher would take the money, and you'd end up dead. Mayday! Mayday! This is a sailing vessel, Mogo Elihi, out of Honolulu. We have suffered reef damage. We're taking on water. I repeat, we are taking on water. Mayday! Mayday, this is the Mokulihi out of Honolulu. Can anyone hear us? Hello? Hello? Anybody? Hello? I don't understand. Where is everyone? <laughs> I was 11 when my dad and I moved to the US. Tommy was 16, an adult. He'd look at me sometimes or make a comment. I thought it was normal, I'd never had a brother. And by the time I was 12, it got physical. You ever tell anyone? He said he loved me. If I told anyone, they'd take him away and break up the family, so. I let it happen, and that just became the way things were. It was our secret, and in a way, that made me feel special. I felt loved, wanted, grown up. 